I'm Susan Marlowe, and I'm an artist at the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina. I'm here today to show you Joe's Prime Really Good Black Gesso. Uh, I really like this product. I've never used really black before. Um, actually, I had an aversion to black, but now I'm really into it. And here's some of the ways that I like to use it. For one thing, it gives great coverage. So usually, uh, just need one coat, which is nice. So one thing I use it for are these prime, um, Joe's Prime really good cradled panels. I like to use it on the sides. And so after it's painted, this both primes it. And for me, this is a finished coat as well. And it's just a one-time deal. So I just slap it on all the sides um, and I think it gives a pretty smart look to the side to the side of it in in lieu of um, putting a, f a frame in your painting this is the in essence the frame even though it doesn't stick out from the painting so presto changing change it Presto Changeo, and you have got your sides of your of your board painted. And I also go ahead and paint the front edges, just so you won't have any wood peeking through if you don't happen to um, to get that done when you're painting. I use this also to affix uh, print to these panels. Um, and so I will do a white gesso for the front and apply a print. Or I'm also going to apply, so this, sh this shows a print that's been done. Here's the sides, all finished. And I'm going to do, I'm going to apply this painting, this is an original painting, to this support because I felt like the frame was detracting from the painting. And I want to have it on a support so you just see the painting and the sides. So I've already painted this gesso, um, the sides black. I think I'm going to also paint the, um, the edge of this painting black as well so it blends in better. As well, I've decided to use the black um, to accentuate the um, the negative space. So I'm going to actually be painting the black negative space and this is going to make this little cow really pop out I think. And it's also going to blend with the sides so it will give it a more cohesive look. Um, I really um, might water it down a little bit so you can see a little bit of the pink that's down below for interest. So I'll make it a little bit thinner here. A little bit more there. That way it uh, gives it a little bit more interest. It's not just a solid black. This, is, um, this painting is called Collage Cow. And um, it was painted because my husband asked me why I always painted cows and couldn't I paint something else? And I said, well, I could try. So I just was collaging randomly. I wasn't thinking about anything and sort of doing, I thought, an abstract painting. And the next thing I knew, I had this beautiful little cow appeared. So uh, without my even trying, or actually with me trying not to do a cow. So I guess it was just meant to be. So I think that's a lot more dramatic presentation and shows off that um, that little calf's face a whole lot better. So that's another way you can use the black gesso as a real thick coverage for your supports or just as a black paint. You can water it down if you, if you want to have it a little bit um, more transparent or thinner. So thanks for stopping by.